du, 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 du. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to another review from me, Matt. The Bearded Berserker. Yeah. Hope you're keeping safe and well, whatever you're getting up to. It's Sunday. Fairly half decent day out here, and I have another review for you. Before I get started, thank you. And I do mean this from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so much for all the support I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Bear Matt and he on my Beta Berserker YouTube channel where it is an old man sat in front of his iPad trying his hardest to help promote, support and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there, not huge, massive, faceless brands, which I am not overly keen on. As always, all the reviews that I do on my channel, completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own honest opinion, so it's not about sitting there blowing smoke rings up at people's backsides going, oh, it's wonderful, it's fantastic, because I would hate, the same as I would hate if I watched somebody else's review and they said it's fantastic, you go out and you think, all right, yeah, I'll go out and get it, and you get it and it's like, it falls apart or just doesn't live up to expectations, so all reviews will be completely, and always have been completely honest. If you are expecting flashy graphics and intros and outros, you're not getting it here because I only have my iPad in front of me, so no real way of editing my videos. I literally record them two, three, four, five times, then whoom, upload them straight onto YouTube. So yeah, I'm trying to think what's been going on. Um, away in just over a week or so's time in, up to Scotland, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be doing loads of photos and stuff like that, and other than that, not much. Not much at all, nearly finished decorating in the review room, so that's getting there very slowly. But this morning's review has been very, very kindly sent through from Lone Stag Co, Lone Stag Company, in Colorado in USA. And very, very kindly sent through a few bits and pieces for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. As always, links will be down below in the description box. Please show them some support give them a help, give them a follow, because like I've said in pretty much most of my videos, that with these small brands, they depend on sales, you know? They put their own time and effort and passion into what they're doing and creating what they're doing, and a sale to them means a hell of a lot more than it does to some huge, massive, faceless brand. But they have sent through a few bits. This is a letter of, uh, thank you for your support. Uh, thank you for shopping with us, Lone Stag Company, 215 Maple Street, Florence, um, Colorado, United States. Cool. So basically what he's done is he's, he loves Highland Games, you know, he loves the whole kilted, Scottish, um, it's kind of ancestry and everything. But his main passion is the Highland Games. And obviously the Highland Games originated in the Highlands, but there's various different sort of reincarnations of the Highland Games all around the world. I have been to see the Highland Games once up in Scotland, and it was amazing. Um, some real badass people, if you know what I mean, slinging, doing a cave of toss and stones and stuff like that. And it's just like... Yeah, I couldn't do that. I find it hard enough to lift my carcass out of bed in the morning, let alone lift a telegraph pole. And so he's created basically Lone Stag Company for his love of all things Scottish, all things Highland Games. Very kindly sent me through a few bits to have a look at, see what I think of. First off the bat, he sent through some stickers. I love stickers. Um, the trouble is with stickers, um, but I'm finding. So now I've got to find a new place for them because... I try and put up as many stickers in the review room as I possibly can do without start sticking them all over the walls, which the missus would not be happy with. But all these, the prices on these are exactly the same. Um, they're $3.99, $3 which is working out this morning on a currency converter around about £2.88. And these are decent stickers. Uh, you've got that one, the flag with the Lone Stag logo in it. I like the logo that he uses on that. Pretty damn cool. And he does all sorts of things, not just the bits I'm going to show you. He does t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, socks, kilt pins, stickers, caps, all sorts of bits and pieces. Fanny packs, bum bags, depending on where you are in the world. Fanny pack over here means something slightly different to what it does in the US. So he sent through three of these, which is pretty damn cool. And 
This one, a play, I believe it's a play on, no, not that one. It's a play on baseball, is it? It's not NFL, um, but with the colours and everything, with the uh, athlete Fiona Caber. I couldn't lift that. It was hard enough to lift a cocktail stick up, but really nice. I like the distressed look on that and the colours, which are nice. Red, white, and blue. And also, this one, please do not take this one the wrong way. Toss like a boss, as in toss the caber, not toss yourself. Um, so yeah, really, really nice stickers. And I did look yesterday, but they are different characters, obviously, than on there. So it's not just the same sticker repeated. So really, really nice. And all the stickers, £2.88. Decent quality sticker so I've got to find somewhere to stick those and also here sent through four kilt pins for me to have a look at stroke brooches stroke pins however you want to use them and these are all the same price which is five dollars fifty which comes in at three pounds ninety six and allegedly according to the website with the kilt pins is buy one and you get one which is pretty damn cool so he's sent through these ones, now these are smaller than regular kilt pins, and I think that's why he's doing the buy one and get one. This one, hopefully the camera's doing this justice, the Scottish Thistle, and this one, the Irish one, which is, kind of looks like it's got some enamelling in there. So these aren't regular kilt pin sizes, because regular kilt pins are kind of a roundabout sort of so big, but... I like the fact that, yeah, you can stack, double stack them next to each other or something like that. Or with the other ones that you sent through, you can have a larger one at the top or bottom or next to each other or something like that. But these are made damn good just badges in general because I've got sort of several Scottish ones on my jacket, on the lapel and on the Argyle and my Prince Charlie and my... Um, is it William? No, Wallace jacket as well, the tweed one. So yeah, these would make just beautiful pins on their own. They got the regular clasp on the back with the spinny bit that locks it into place. And what I do do is a bit of a tip. If you don't, if you have nice pins and you don't want to lose them, I cut a little bit of elastic band off, put the first bit through, clothing or wherever it's going, kill. Thread on the elastic band and then double it back and then back over again and then lock it into place. So if it does, the clasp does happen to come open while you are wearing it, you're not going to lose your pin badge, which is always devastating. Um, I picked that tip up from someone else who said it was a good way of doing it. So yeah, you've got that one, which is the Irish with the sword and you have this one with the Scottish thistle. Both really, really nice kilt pins and like I say, the price on them. £3.96 and you buy one and you get one. Hell yeah. Well cool. I do believe, according to the website, I have seen that he does different coloured ones, like a gold one. These are the, obviously the silver coloured ones, but I think there's a gold coloured one versions as well. And also he has sent through what he would class as Viking uh, kilt pins, brooches, pins. This one is of the Celtic design kind of got the um, vintage kind of weathered look to it, which is really, really nice. I do like silver and shiny and everything, but I do like the weathered kind of look to it. And so there's that one. It's got a decent pin on the back and it's quite tight on there, which is nice to see. There's nothing worse than getting a pin badge and that whole clasp on the back is a bit weak and doesn't really hold on to stuff so that really does grip on there and you're not going to lose that in a hurry and exactly the same don't know whether you can see there is a gap between there between the post and the clip so again i would put a little bit of once you've got that on put a bit of elastic band just a little cut not a whole elastic band and then put this on so if you do lose the back of it you're not going to lose the pin which would be devastating Bearing in mind I'm in the UK and he's from Colorado, I'd hate to lose something that I'd have to get back from America. So that's that one. Uh, these are both classed as Viking, obviously this one is because it's the Viking Compass. Again, really nice. It's got that, I like the way that the black's been put in there so it's not completely shiny almost, does look sort of weathered. What do they call it? Not vintage. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Antiqued. That's the word I was looking for, antique look. 
both exactly the same diameter. Uh, I think it's just about an inch, inch and a half across, but really, really nice. Use it on a kilt, use it on a bag, use it on a coat, use it on your Balmoral cap, or use it wherever you like, or just keep it as a display piece. Really, really nice. And like I say, the price on them is £3.96. No money at all. And I think it took just over a week or so to get here from the US, which is pretty damn cool. And I love some of the designs that he's got on his t-shirt. I'd really want to get one of the t-shirts done with this as a back print across kind of like the shoulder part on it. It would look pretty damn awesome and then awesome in a small version of this on the front. So I'm going to get in touch with him and see if he can sort that out. But absolutely great products, great customer service. I really love the fact that he's got a passion for something, gone with it and cannot fault them at all and a price. Like I say, bearing in mind, you've got a sticker that's £2.88 and a pin badge that's £3.96 and with the pin badges, it'll, or the kilt pins, um, it's buy one, get one. So, well worth doing, £3.96 for two. Um, I obviously, it probably doesn't include postage and packaging, but yeah, really, really great. Gets three thumbs up from me. I've got two, so there you go. So yeah, that's a little review for Sunday. Thank you so, so much to Lone Stag Company for sending these through for me to have a look at, see what I think of. Really, really good, good quality, nice customer service with them, cannot fault them at all. And yeah, I think that was it, according to my notes. Uh, yep, Lone Stag Scottish Pride sticker, Major League Caber sticker, Toss Like a Boss sticker, Irish Kilt Pin, Scottish Kilt pen, Viking kilt pen, Celtic knot um, compass. Yeah. So, anybody wants to comment, please feel free to comment down below. I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made. Thank you so, so much for all the support. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to. Gave myself a bit of a beard trim this morning, kind of needed it, so I rounded it off a bit because that'll do. So, yeah. Whatever you're getting up to, whatever you're doing, keep on taking care of each other, keep on helping, supporting each other, and above all, keep on loving each other. You only live once. Make the most out of it. Every day counts. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much to the Lone Stag Company. Links down below. Please show them some support. Give me a help and a follow. Have a good Sunday, guys, from here in the UK. Have a great one. Take care.